Hey guys, what's up? Dolby Dog here, and today I bought myself a 2017 Dolby car. It's a 1997. Right, I'm gonna wait until the wind dies down. It's just super windy today. 1997 Buick Century with plenty of rust to go around. This side, I mean, the front actually isn't that bad. I'm going to get inside and talk about it a little bit. It's got that burgundy interior. Not bad, a little bit dirty. Don't care because I bought this car for 350 bucks. So yeah, got the headlights walk and everything. Shifter was a little bit, uh, a little bit actually hard to uh, pull, pull down. I think it will get loose as, as we uh, go with this thing. No, but uh, actually, it's not a bad interior. <laughs> uh, so let me show you how many miles this thing has on it. Crazy, crazy. You guys may think. Oh, it probably has 150,000 miles based, going based off the rust. Sixty-six thousand miles. Yeah, that's right. Sixty-six thousand miles on this fucking rag. She's <laughs> got an exhaust leak. Yeah, she's kind of raggy. Close her up. Actually, let me uh, go and pop the hood here. I think I almost just stalled. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't like to stay running all the time. So that's the way it idles off. And there's probably good reason for that. If I can get the damn hood open. Alright, there we go. Hydraulic still won't think that. Here she is. And all who. Boy! Very responsive still. So this is the problem I ran into. See what that says? Yeah. Anybody who knows what's about to come up? Yeah. Mmm. Oil. And cooling. Tasty. That's absolutely. So this thing's got a bonehead gasket. Uh. It ain't running rough yet, so that's always good. I think it'll last. Uh, but yeah, this course of food. They're actually known for rusting out right below the radiator. But as you can see from this, it's actually still intact. So, that's always good. Plus, this thing is super damn thick. Like, really thick. Thick. Look at that. Two waves of metal. Obviously not going to run the stock bumper because they're crap. Because they just V right in the middle. So, let me go ahead and pop the trunk. Uh, this one. Alright, there we go. That's down on two. Pretty windy today. Very windy. We got a spare, which is always good. That means we only need one more for the back. I'm going to freaking uh, notch the crap out of this frame because, in case anybody knows, these frames are known for going down in the back and even separating from the body to just go down so I'm trying to get this actually out of here I don't I've never done this before with, 
with a GM car, so I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Okay, so it is coming out. Come on. How long is this thing? Alright, let me stop the camera until I got it. So here it is, guys. It's actually pretty good until you get up there. Then it gets nasty. It's pretty nasty up in there. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this thing in the tent though. But yeah, she's a little bit rusty up there. But not too bad. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it's the same story on this side. So yeah, that may be a problem, but hell with it. Alright, well, let's go drive this thing. This thing has little to no brakes. Fat stamina. Don't even realize I'm recording him. Alright, these. Oh god. Oh god. What the hell? No, I don't want to go down. Come on. Ah. Okay, I guess the window's broken. What? Where's the tent? Uh, in the tent? Well, in the gray tent, not my tent. Your tent? No, the gray tent. Jeez. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't, like, stall. Here we go, slowly but surely. Ooh, smooth. So quiet, very quiet in here. The tourist is very loud. Shit, I may hit that gas tank. I don't want to hit the gas tank. I can't freaking pop the window. Oh god. Okay, still got brakes. Barely. You fucking kidding me? Let me get out. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Punch it. Yeah, we're good. We in? No, this thing's freaking long. Let me go uh, move that gas tank out of the way so I make sure I don't hit it. Alright guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll have more videos on on the strip of this thing and stuff like that. See he even... Don't want it? He didn't give me any. Actually, I'm going to Who gives a crap if it gets stolen? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe uh, for more content. And, uh, yeah, this is the 2017 Derby Car W Body, which is great. Um hit the gas tank when I pulled in, whoops, I didn't even think about that, but whatever, so my brother backed it up and he couldn't even get it out of uh, park because of the Don Sheffield. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, hope you guys like my rag, like, comment, subscribe, see you guys in the next one, bye bye everybody. Oh and by the way guys, I just want to say this real quick, this guy got, gave me one, two, two keys. I'm like, okay, that's good, that's cool. And then he gave me a third key. I'm like, wait, what? You're giving me third, three keys? I'm like, that's a lot of keys. And then he's like, oh yeah, I've got one more. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, I got three keys. I got three keys that fit the ignition. This one goes in the driver's door. I'm guessing that whoever used to own this vehicle used to lose a lot of keys. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, my Buick was in uh, Northeast Classic Cars. Uh, yeah, there's a key fob too. Jeez, so many keys. It's actually a good thing because 
What happens if one of my keys gets stolen at the Dolby and then I always got a few more? So, yeah. Alright, well, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, buddy.